fans vaults, Levy Douglas attempts to unveil the many secrets held within the classic Doctor Who VHS collection. Whoa. Are you ready, Livy? I'm born ready. Okay, well, we've got our next selection of classic Doctor Who VHS tapes somewhere. Oh, yeah. here they are. Here they are! Right, this is the first contender. It is Terror of the Autons. What's going on there, Livy? So this should be renamed um, Doctor Who and the Trip to Ikea because... Right. Yeah, so in Ikea, I don't know if you're familiar, they have like a toy section, like a bargain bin. Ooh. <laughs> So it basically boils down to a sort of Chucky theme, but without all the deaths. Um, he goes into Ikea, hoping to buy a wardrobe because he's collapsed due to all his coats and jackets taking up so much room. He finds this doll and names it Philip, and takes Philip home and he just gets rid of all the jackets because Philip tells him to, and he just has Philip in there with a little seat, like a little stool. And um, so Philip really likes gravy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're in dangerous territory here of going back into food. Oh, no, 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 this isn't no. food related. Oh, yeah. It's just it's just literally that Philip likes gravy. Um, fills the wardrobe with gravy and uh, it does not end well. Um, John Pertwee gets very annoyed and it's just a big gravy mess. Have you ever seen The Queen's Nose? Yes. And she like wishes for like loads of spaghetti. <laughs> Is this food again? <laughs> I promise. But like it just stop it just doesn't stop and it's like, oh spaghetti forever. And it's basically that's what Philip wants. What would you uh, wish for if you had a wish for anything? Oh that's a good question. Um It's probably not the video to be asking you for. <laughs> the Crotons! Can you tell us what this is about, Libby? Yeah, so you see this here. Mm -hmm. This is actually a conservatory and it sort of ties into the trip to Ikea because you see it's in the dark, the bulb's blown and it's just, his conservatory's got like no light in it at all and it's it's really, it's a, it's a tough subject for him because who likes a conservatory in the dark? No one likes that. Tough subject? What? <laughs> <laughs> is he, why is he sensitive about it? I don't like to talk about this episode because it's, it's very heartbreaking just because it's a dark conservatory. We're not allowed to look at the back, surely. Look how dark it is. How do you feel right now? <laughs> well, I mean, a little bit intimidated. Look, he's trying out different different forms of light oh, yeah. to light it up. Different different ways. It's like the episode's black and white. It's so dark. It, it, it makes it darker, doesn't it? And it just yeah. it just touches your very soul and. <laughs> And look at him trying so hard. Luckily, you know, to lighten everyone's spirits and conservatories, we've got a, uh, a good old jolly one. It's colourful, it's friendly. Um, it's, it's the talent of Wang yeah. Chiang. Yay! Mm. Look, at the, look at the friendly dragon. Isn't it nice? It's not actually a dragon. It's just a very big caterpillar. <laughs> this is a happy story because at the end, I don't want to spoil it, but you know what caterpillars do. They um, they make umbrellas and um, it makes the world's most beautiful umbrella. Let's see what's next. Oh. It's the Yay! Of monsters! It's trashing! Are you going to do an impression for us? No. Next up we have the Mind Robber. So this is quite a nice story to watch at Christmas, um, however you need to watch out for this little missy here because if you look at her hair you turn to stone, um, which isn't fun for anyone, I'll be honest. So Surely just it. within the story, not if you're looking at it on the TV. Uh, on the TV, yes, which is why you should only watch it at Christmas because that's where Christmas <laughs> ornaments come from. What, that stone on ornaments? Yeah, the ones you put on your tree. Stone ornaments? You put stone ornaments on your tree? <laughs> yeah. What's the tree made out of? It's just a tree. It'd have to be pretty strong yeah. to level this stone stone ornament. Have you ever seen a tree? Well, you're making Let me, me tell like you I about haven't. trees. <laughs> right, let's have a lesson about <laughs> trees now. Trees are made from hope and magic. And so trees are actually very sturdy. They hold squirrels, even fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> and do you know how fat squirrels get? Well, I don't know. How fat do squirrels get? Pretty darn fat. Do you think you'd be able to do <clears throat> two stories at the same time? I, I'll do my best. Okay, you think you'd be capable? Mm -hmm. You think you'd be okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for these two stories, we've we've got these. Um, what do you make? What do you what do you reckon? <laughs> What's going on there? Well, have you ever gone swimming? Uh, can you tell us what this is about, please? Doctor Who and the Daleks: Daleks Invasion of Earth, twenty one fifty AD. That's the entire title. It's all one. <laughs> yeah. So these <laughs> these little fellas, um, what they call Daleks. Yeah, they cool. um they actually work at zoos and they tell you information about all the animals, um, how zebras have stripes and why. Uh, do you know why? Why? Because they eat chewing gum too much. Not gonna lie with me, this doesn't <laughs> sound like a particularly interesting Doctor Who adventure. Oh it is. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's so many animals there and you just don't know why they look the way they do. And these explain everything. It's like a documentary. It's got a bit of Attenborough in it. So it's like, oh, these are, these are the Daleks and they explain how zebras eat too much chewing gum, giraffes blow bubbles, monkeys eat too much cake, stuff like that. Um, fish don't actually swim underwater, they float. And so what noise do fish make? <laughs> but if you do ever see them at the zoo, um, these buttons here are for each animal. Um, if you press one more than once, then they won't be happy and you'll be removed from the right, zoo. Right, so you press, you press one of them and they'll go, the cow goes, boo! <laughs> but it also gives you more information, like why they're patchwork and stuff like that. So um, it's, it's a good thing to have, but just don't overindulge because you will be removed from the <laughs> zoo and... <laughs> <laughs> Am I boring you? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal does these uh, attack, attack yawns. yawns. <laughs> oh gosh, you've witnessed my attack yawn. When I'm well, really I'm tired, um, I, my yawns are quite loud. But but the thing is, you know, I think if you're going to yawn, you might as well, you know, get it all out. It's not a good stretch, you know. You might as well just go all out. And just you know, get it out there. But you do like five in a minute, so I don't think you're getting it all out in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I almost choked to my joke. <laughs> this year, now seems like a good time to get into a new show, or read a book, or learn a new skill. Nah! But, what episodes do you watch? 